How's it hanging guys, castox 3 coming from my computer to yours to bring you another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Now you may notice, this is a brand new person I'm battling. Yes, it was a person I battled online when I first started playing. The team you see me using right now is the first team I built, but not the first team I bred. So I didn't breed these guys, I just gave them good movesets and used them as specific things. But I didn't breed them, so they're not that good, and I don't use them anymore, because... They're not good natures, IVs, and all that fun stuff. Anyway, look at the person I'm versing. Jordan. Jordan has three legendaries. What the fuck? I went on to the Wi-Fi challenge thing that you can do online. And I was like, you know, let me just get the first person I see. This guy has three legendaries. I have zero legendaries because I don't battle with legendaries. They're in Ubers, so I was just like, what and I figured, you know what, let me try. Let me just try and battle him. Let's see what happens. And I'll tell you what. It ends. Magically. You will not believe what happens. So let's get started into this. Now, I don't know what he's going to lead off because he's got crazy Pokemon. So I believe I just go ahead and lead off with um, Tyranitar, I think. Uh, yep, I lead off with my turn. He leads off with Xerneas. I lead off with Tyranitar. That thing could probably kill me in one moon blast. I'm not too sure. But I'm, I was thinking, like, let me just get my stones up. So it goes for moon blast. He's obviously faster than me. I mean, he's a fucking Xerneas. So I live with 4 HP. And that was a crit. That's why I love Tyranitar. It is a special wall. It is amazing. So I live with 4 HP. I'm able to get my stones up. And he gets buffeted by the sandstorm. And now those stones. Those stones are coming back. Those stones. Don't forget about those stones. They're going to change everything. So I go into my Lucario thinking, let me get a bullet punch or a flash cannon off. And he goes for the moon blast and it kills me. It just kills Lucario. Lucario is strong, but he's not buff. So Lucario just goes down on one hit. Like, good job, Lucario. You really did your part there. Anyway, I send him my Gardevoir next thinking, okay, this is part fairy. It's not going to be able to hurt me that much. So I go ahead and Mega Evolve. I choose Gardevoir to be my Mega. I believe my Charizard is holding its Mega Stone too. But I'm just like, you know what, Gardevoir, we need you. So Gardevoir's got good special bulk too. So it goes for the Moon Blast and it's, it does over half. And it lowers my special attack. And that was just a like a neutral affecting move. It wasn't super effective. I go for the Psychic. It does a pretty good chunk on a Xerneas, not gonna lie. But it's, it's not enough. Like this Xerneas is just killing my team so it goes for another moon blast and it kills my Gardevoir like, no no surprise there like it's a freaking Xerneas I don't understand why this guy brought three legendaries but it's still getting hurt by the sandstorm so I bring in my Dante and my Dante is faster I go straight for the flare blitz just thinking I don't want a mega evolve one because I can't because Gardevoir did and even if I didn't it was it would have become dragon and I wasn't sure about how fast it was so it could have moon blasted me and killed me so luckily the sandstorm ends this turn so I don't get hurt by that. And he sends in his Mewtwo, which is like, what the fuck dude, like Mewtwo? Come on man, I just beat your Xerneas, now I gotta deal with this thing? So Mewtwo's exerting its pressure. Anyway, I bring back my Dante, thinking I, I don't want this thing to die. Go into Mrs. Freeze, predicting that it's a Mewtwo X, but it goes for the Aura Sphere, which is a special move, and Avalug has like Z- <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Avalek has like zero special defense, so it just kills it in one hit. I'm going to my Liquidator, which is my Greninja. And Greninja's pretty damn fast, so I'm like, I gotta get some good damage off on this thing. So I go for the Dark Pulse stab. Does a lot. And I get the Flinch. The Flinch probably is what mattered, because he could have Aura Sphered me there and killed me. But the Flinch really helped me there. So I'm able to get another Dark Pulse off and kill it. So that's two legendaries down. So he goes and sends out his Lucario, and I'm just like, dude, are you kidding me? Fucking Lucario. This thing could kill me. So I bring back my Greninja, wanting to save him for later. And I go into my Green Giant. I think just as Death Fodder. Oh no, I wanted to get the Sandstorm up again. That's right, because I need that residual damage. That could be making a difference. So it's got 4 HP. I just let it die to a Dragon Pulse. So I get a free switch in, and I got the Sandstorm up. So it's a Dragon Pulse, so I'm assuming it's a special Lucario. It's either special or mixed. It's not going to be just physical with a special move. So I go for the Flare Blitz knowing I gotta take this thing out. And Nukaro's not too buff, 
bulky, as you saw, like mine died. So I'm like, this flare blitz should kill it no matter what. So I get her from recoil, so I'm at half, and then I got buffeted by the sandstorm. So my Dante is not looking too good. Then he go ahead and sends in his Charizard. Now look, boom, starts out with half health because of that stealth rocks, and those make a difference. That's why I always try to get those things up. So now he's at half health, so he's not gonna be able to take another hit, especially from my Greninja. So he goes for the Flare Blitz, trying to get as much damage off like I did on this Lucario. And look at what that does to my Greninja. Don't do shit. But I get burned. Luckily, not a physical attacker, so that burn isn't gonna affect my damage output. We get buffeted by the sandstorm, he gets buffeted by the sandstorm. All I gotta do is lay one surf off. You get burned too. Man, my Greninja's just getting hurt all over. All I gotta do is get one surf off, so that's what I go ahead and do. Get that stab, super effective surf, and there goes his Charizard. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm actually beating this guy. He's got three legendaries, and I'm beating him. It's amazing. So I get hurt by the sandstorm and burn my Greninja. It's just, I mean, it's looking hot because of the burn, but it's not looking too hot, if you know what I mean. So he sends in a Zygarde. Dragon ground. He gets hurt by the rocks, but does like two damage because it's ground. He has an aura break, doesn't matter. I don't have Xerneas or Uveltal. I go for the surf. I'm guessing I didn't have ice beam on this thing. Probably had grass knot. Surf does a shit ton by Greninja. Like, that's amazing. It does over half. So he goes for the earthquake and kills my Greninja. I'm sure a tackle would have killed my Greninja at that point, honestly. So the sandstorm goes away, which is good because. It's not going to hurt his guys, and it's only going to hurt mine. So I go for the Dragon Claw, because this is my Charizard X. And it's going to be super effective, and it's going to be able to kill, which is good. Kill it at, what, 25 HP or something? So that's good to know that Charizard can do that. And he sends in his Klefki. He sends in it now. He probably should have led with that thing, honestly. Got some status conditions or something. Goes for the Heal Block, which honestly doesn't matter, because I don't have Roost on this thing. So I'm not going to be healing anyway. I just go for the Earthquake. And it Oko's it. This Charizard is a boss. I think the crit mattered there, to be honest, because Charizard didn't Mega Evolve. So he wasn't in his Tough Claws thing. Tough Claws ability, anyway. But uh, yeah, I beat the guy with three Legionaries. You should have seen me when I was battling this guy. I was like, guys, guys, I just beat a guy with three Legionaries. I don't know who I was talking to. I was by myself, but... That's why I want to share this battle, because I beat a guy with three legendaries. I mean, that's crazy, honestly, because I'm not, like, a super good battle battler. Like, you see me post wins and stuff, but that's because they're good wins. I don't want to post crappy videos for you guys, but when I beat this guy, I was just, you know, a, a fire started inside my heart, and it led to this, me posting it on the internet. So, yeah, get that on, like, a plaque, put it on my room, you know, that day. A fire started in my heart. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments. Go ahead and also leave a rating, leave a like or dislike. And either way, let me know why you left that rating. Uh, like I said last video, I'm going to be doing battles with subscribers, so you can go ahead and drop your friend code down in the bottom, and I'll drop mine back, and we can bat whole. Uh, if you guys have Twitter or Facebook, I have those as well. You can go ahead and follow or like me. The links are in the description. And also I have my Instagram down there. In case you just want to follow photos, you know. I don't know. Why the fuck not? Anyway, I got to go. I've got college to attend to as I'm recording this. I got my first class to go to. So go ahead and subscribe for more Pokemon content. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.